Hello, everybody. You may be wondering how we get these video captures. Surprisingly enough, we use an extremely cheap solution. First, we was using a hoppage capture box. It was okay at best. Editing was a nightmare. The audio would go out of sync with the video. And seven seconds of latency, ugh. Considering I bought this for $70 used, uh, I was expecting a lot more. Who knew that a $10 buy on AliExpress would be an amazing purchase? USB 2, no pass through HDMI. It turned me off, so it gathered dust for about a year before I used it. But when I did get to use it, I can tell you now, it saved a lot of grief. Hooking this up to a system that has two video outputs is not a problem really. VGA out to your monitor so you can play the game via that. And then HDMI to the video capture USB stick. And then that goes straight into your computer. This USB stick will pick up all the video and audio from this HDMI signal. So what about your lovely Android box? Something like the Super Console X? When it only has one HDMI output. If this is the case, we'd have to get a HDMI splitter. These boxes go for about $5 to $10, and you'll need HDMI cable to link them up. An even cheaper alternative may be to get a splitter with a cable attached. So we're going to use this box to split the HDMI signal. One of these output ports will go to the PC to be recorded, and the other will go to a different monitor, which we can play the game on. This will eliminate the latency, so it doesn't feel like we're playing on paint. Here's the other Android box. Same deal, just one HDMI output. So the Raspberry Pi 4. This one uses a micro HDMI port. We could use an adapter. Or we could use a micro HDMI to regular HDMI cable. So when it comes to retro gaming, yes, we need to use different adapters. So this one's a Wii 2 HDMI. This works well. And for the PlayStation 2. So on the PC, we usually use this free tool called Streamlabs OBS. It's completely free. We make a scene like so. Then add sources little plus got a video capture device then hit add source and then you can select the one you want to add if you can't find it press that little switch at the bottom where it says add a new source instead now if you leave it at that you'd only have the video what we need is also audio too so we need to add source then audio input capture Select the digital audio interface. Done. Down the right here, we're just going to mute everything we don't need. And down here, we can see that this is picking up some audio. So all we need to do is either press record or if we're set up, you can go live and you can stream to your audience. Here's some footage taken from the Wii. And a little bit from the Super Console X. This is undoubtedly one of the best purchases I made in 2020. Great for those who need to capture video on a budget. No need for Elgato here. <laughs> so affiliate links are at the bottom and one minute. One minute. This is the one I got and this is... Oh my god, there's a new version? 60 frames per second. Oh my god.